Well, we are finally here, my friends. Welcome to Lee Reacts, guys. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. Happy Halloween. I hope everyone's going to have a nice, safe holiday. If it's with the kitties, if it's with your friends, whatever it is, be safe, have fun. And whenever you get back, or before, come listen to this album with me. Today we're going to be listening to a very special album. Uh, and it was actually sent to me by a wonderful man named Bob. Right here. Elias of Sun Hillo. I think that's how you say it. And uh, often is in my life. Synchronicity. We also got a package today. From the same one Bob. Right, y'all. Let's see what we got. I love surprises. Captain Beefheart, the Spotlight Kid. That's new. I've never heard of him before. Thank you so much, Bob. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to check this out. Um, I don't know what it is. I've never even heard of it before. God's Golf Ball Productions. Hey, that sounds fun. You can go right next to Ohms. Mr. Beefheart. Let's see. Don't fuck with the camera, Lee. You're going to fuck everything up. Uh, you can see his head. All right, that works. <laughs> All right. Yes, we're going to be listening to John Anderson's Elias of Sun Hillo, the full album. Um, I've heard that this is one wild ride. It could be a sci-fi movie. It's a lot of different things, apparently. And uh, I've been looking forward to it. I wanted to save it for a special occasion. And the closest, hollow, uh, closest Halloween, the closest holiday was Halloween. It kind of fits, I guess. I haven't heard the music yet, so I don't know. But the cover is pretty metal, so hey, it works, you know. So let's do it. Hope you guys have fun. Enjoy the trip. I'll see you all on the other side. Let's do it. Okay. Da, 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 da. This is what I get for not having it up beforehand. All right, here we go. Oh, I guess all the lyrics. This is like a lyric video for the entire album. So we're going to have the lyrics and stuff too and some animations, some artwork. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. I don't know who made it, but let's have some fun, guys. John Anderson, Elias of Sun Hillo. Complete. Forty-four minutes. Don't say I never did anything for you guys. Fuck. <laughs> I'm excited. Y'all been hyping this up, bro. We did Plague of Lighthouse Keepers last night, and then this. What a freaking one-two punch, huh? In the midst of a million years of energy, three riders skim to the surface of the plane of Talocross and race towards a dream. Their meeting point lying between the glades and gardens of Geta and the high mountain masses where fountains of light and color and soft winds of passion openly existing through wisdom surrounded by three that silent eve. They sang together through motions only ways, as all around them sparkled and chorused in wonder. And that is the conclusion of this terrible voiceover. sounds it's like high fantasy but with like technology in space almost Sounds like yes. <laughs> it's like who he's talking about. I really like this Eastern theme they're going with. I'm guessing that's for the entire album.
Oh, is this like a dictionary or vocabulary or whatever? Those are words that are going to be used, I'm guessing. It looks like an acid trip. It really does. They're like, at least with the trails and stuff in the background of it. You know John was into some real shit. <laughs> Jesus. What an imagination this guy has. Jesus Christ, man. I'm very grateful for this video, I'm not gonna lie. It's nice to have like a visualizer to go with something like this. It's like this is like a whole world. It's so crazy. weird like Celtic Eastern mix. I really like it though. I see the potential in this. Good job, dude. There's so much like sincerity in this. And, like his voice and like the approach of this, I like it a lot. Unabound creativity. Wow. Those harmonies, oh my god. Metal trees. That's interesting. I like that. <laughs> the ship. Wow, he's singing the, the trees to build the ship. That's crazy. That's so cool.
Is that like a harp or something? Blade was ready. What an imaginative way to like build a ship in like some other world. You sing it into existence. Or like you you're calling the trees to build it for you, basically. Hurling through space. I've always thought that was cool, like ships, like wooden ships in space, like treasure planet and stuff like that. Tribes for as long as time would allow. Kukwak? Kukwak? Mass lands to the east. Deep rhythms awoke that spelt of a movement. As slowly and surely, It's got like a real like new age influence to it as well. Just like in the vocal patterns and like the, I don't know, like the little vocal harmonies he has, it's crazy. He's doing a really good job blending narrative and music together though. It's, he's doing a really good job. Those computer noises are crazy. The electronics of the in the ambience have been out of this world in this like seriously did he do all the music for this or did someone else like help him with other things wait i have the album right here oh. and it didn't do me any good I'll say was like the good one. I think it was track four, yeah. Not the good one, but the really good one. I should rephrase that, I apologize. Now we've entered like this mountainous part of this world, it looks like. Looks like we were in some kind of twisted forest before, and now we're in, like, mountains.
Transic State. Mm. Tallow Cross. This is definitely awakening some strange dreams I had as a kid. And my imagination was uh, even wilder then than it is now, I'll just say that. I was a very lonely kid, sorry. <laughs> All I had was my imagination. Now we've got more of like a Middle Eastern sort of sound. Like music from like Iran and Afghanistan sort of sound. I don't know what the exact name of it is. Arya? Area. I feel like it's like they're summoning something. but the truth is an illusion. And from the depths we shall rise. Shell. Hmm. There's like this sort of childlike wonder to this. It's like the whole new age, like peace, love, unity thing where everything's just love, 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 you know? Unfortunately, I think it shies away from the harsh realities of this world, but I appreciate it. The Thunder Rose. What? Silent teardrops? What the hell happened? What the hell? Yeah, this has a huge, like, 
spiritual awakening, like Eastern philosophy thing to it. I can see like the chakras and stuff, you know, it, it's interesting. It's like something I wasn't raised in, so it's very different to me. It's very interesting though. Oh, that mandolin. that a lot that was cool see I think this is an actual song I feel like this in the first track were but the, the stuff in the middle kind of was like I don't know but it's it's a concept album so it was just part of the story probably That line sounds so pleasant. For, they set sail from Tallow Cross. It's like cellar door, you know? It's very pretty words together. That was insane. I feel like that just like awakened these memories in me from like a long time ago. Like living in the woods and shit. Like some high fantasy like elves shit. What the hell? Sorry for the crude description of it, but that's what it was. <laughs> Wow, this guy is so good at this. John is just absolute magic, man. Not only does he have a wonderful voice, but his imagination and just spiritual energy is radiant, bro. Like, this is some of the most unique narrative, like, plot and just music in general. Like, wow, what a combination of things, dude. Tribes would love to see for themselves their own situation. And there's probably so many levels to this that I probably won't get on the first listen or even second listen. So I'm just here for the ride. And this is very ex mind expanding, to say the least. Those tones were really cool. Ooh. 
Oof. I love that little bud. Uh, na, 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 na. It sounds like yes a little bit. Did anyone from Yes feature on this at all? Na, 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 na. Oh, it's so good. It's doing it again, guys. It's awakening memories again. Like, what the fuck, bro? This is kind of scary to me, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's just unlocking dreams that I thought I'd forgotten. I guess I didn't forget. They just were hiding. I forgot to breathe for like a minute there, I think. What the hell? Oh, my eyes gonna be red for the rest of the damn video. I guess it took me a second to get in the headspace I needed to be to appreciate this, but um, I'm there now, to say the least. This is an incredible piece of art. I'm on a roll, man. This and Lighthouse Keeper is like, what the fuck? I'm gonna have some crazy dreams tonight. I literally probably will. My mind is on a... It's working at a higher vibration right now. I feel like things are aligning like in my soul as we speak. I'm very calm right now. It's strange. And for once, I'm actually, like, lifting my feet up off the ground, and, like, I have them up. I'm kind of, like, almost in a monk position right now, so... <laughs> I don't know. Disharmony of balance resonating to such a voiceless pitch and counterpitch, so that which rose from their surroundings was awkward and sullen. Their own fear had created a form from deep within. So it's, <laughs> the record labels are coming. 
They have no soul and no music in them whatsoever. They literally negate creativity. Oh, so you mean the guys from, uh... Virgin. What's that? There's one label that always takes my shit down. I was trying to think of them like that. I'm not gonna put our, uh... Good friend Fripp out there. He's cool. I don't care what he does. He can take my shit down. He's gone through like Eastern, like New Age, like Middle Eastern music, man. He's gone through everything. There's like these words at the bottom, sun base. The bottom right corner, I don't know. Imagine being able to remember everything in a moment, like access to your entire memory and you could pull from anything within an instant. That'd be true talent. It's a shame that they could never make anything like this nowadays. This video is going to be so long that I'm probably not going to be able to talk like a lot about it afterwards, maybe like a minute or two, but this video is going to be so long, I don't know if my computer is going to be able to handle it. I'm going to push it though, I'm going to push it as far as I can. <laughs> Is John Olias singing, you know, he's going throughout space and time singing words of love, trying to inspire people and bring life and creation to the world? That sounds like John. Just a thought. Ow. I think I've been moving my head at all. My face just started hurting. <laughs> in the same position for like 35 minutes.
I feel like music like this makes me feel like there's more to being conscious and alive than just being self-aware. I feel like there's so much more that makes us us and we don't give ourselves enough credit. I think we're all wonderful, beautiful, just wonderful secrets just being wait, you know, waiting to be told. And I think a lot of us hide away from our destiny. We hide away from other people. We hide away from ourselves, and for what? Just to sit around and die? It doesn't sound fun to me. This has brought back so many childlike dreams I had of just cities of light and forests of love. Literally, I'm not trying to be poetic. Like, I really did. Um, I either created or went to these worlds as a kid in my head and in my dreams. And I had adventures there, adventures I can't remember, but I had them. I definitely had them. I can't believe we're at the end already. And I haven't been able, I don't have like track names or track lists for this. I've just listened to it as one long song basically through this video. So um, I don't really have a favorite song out of it. I've definitely enjoyed it. It's been a little overindulgent in some spots, but other than that, great. the earth of Asgard? One mind of many thoughts emerged from within. One sound, one soul, one. He has captured the abstractness of the other and heaven and whatever you want to call what other other realms and dimensions are beyond this he's done such a good job of bringing that abstractness to a narrative and to something coherent because it's very hard to do and this has been one hell of a journey definitely I feel like I've lived a lifetime within these 38 minutes and 4 seconds so far. I'm not even kidding. It's crazy. I feel like I have so much anger and hate in me, <laughs> just built up. I don't know why. I shouldn't. Jesus, John, fucking making me contemplate myself. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> And I know that I'm full of, like, happiness and light and... I don't know. It's just like a defense mechanism, I guess. I don't know. I, I just... The world's a rough place and you gotta be rough to survive in it, it feels like, nowadays. So I just put on this rough exterior and just try to make it through the day without dying. And I shouldn't. I should be enjoying life, enjoying relationships and the world around me and not hiding away from everything, you know? 
baby steps, as they say. I've come a long way in a short while, so I have to give myself some credit sometimes. Everything will happen when it's supposed to. His voice is so just angelic, man. It can bring tears and then it can bring a, a smile within a second. This is crazy, dude. What a talented, interesting fellow. Cheers, guys. Don't worry, it's sparkling water with guava and lime. Thanks for spending your Halloween with me, or whatever the fuck day it is in the future. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for vibing with me. Oh my god, I can tear my Halloween decorations down after this. It's gonna be weird. His voice just rings of innocence and just complete sincerity, man. It's one of a kind. It just makes you okay with being here in this moment right now. And that's all you can ask for. This takes what hippies and stuff, like preached and stuff back in the day, I think, and what they were all about, and this just takes it to uh, its natural evolution, I believe. The new age philosophy, like the mix of like Eastern philosophy and Gnosticism, basically. Gnosis. And so in parting, Elias, Ranyard, and Coquak, climb to the highest mountain, lying down with eyes fixed to the stars, only seeing the stars. They again became one with the universe. Oh, they died. Wow. Just wow. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. <laughs> like I, I never would have listened to this ever in my life, probably, without you doing that, so thank you. This was truly special. And thank you, John Anderson. To be continued. What? Oh, yeah, y'all did say he was working on a sequel or something. What? What a cool, it's like a post credit scene. It's like, Elias will return. <laughs> wow, man, that was transcendent, truly. Um, I didn't 100% like, but you can't really approach this as like, any other album because it's not really 
songs per se. I mean, there is songs definitely with different instruments and vibes and stuff like that, but I think they all meld together to make this the wonderful story, you know, Elias of Sun Hillo. And um, there's so, like I said, there was New Age. I heard New Age. I heard some Eastern, uh, definitely some Middle Eastern music, uh, a little bit of Native American, like uh, drums and stuff like that. And um, just so many different ideas. And he definitely took inspiration, I feel like, with some Eastern mythology, uh, definitely some like like Jewish Gnosticism mythology. Uh, I saw some like masonry, like sort of symbolism. Um, I definitely think John, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't want to say it. I think John, uh, he is a very special guy and he definitely wants to just be positive and bring light to the world. I think that's all he wants to do. Um, and I can see like, like why him and Bill Bruford, you know, kind of clashed a little bit because they're kind of like each other's antithesis. You know, Bill is like a hardworking, gruff, you know, every guy. And then John is, you know, the hyper intelligent, super creative, um, like savant sort of guy who just wants to, you know, just be positive. And I think he did a, this was an ambitious project and he reached for the stars that the stars look at. And um, wow, he definitely got somewhere. He definitely got somewhere with this. Like I said, it was bringing me back to when I was like a kid. And I just had these pure, pure imagination fueled dreams of, you know, elves and cities of light and flying through the stars on like a wooden ship. Like it was, it brought back so many child, just like my childlike wonder was back for about 40 minutes there. And um, it was wonderful to have. And I, it's hard to get. Um, I definitely kept a piece of my inner child because I'm still a child on the inside, you know. Um, so that's not hard for me to get into that mindset, to be honest. But uh, imagination and creativity is something that is not taught. It is uh, not given. It is, it's not earned. I think it's just inherent in a way. And um, there's always going to be those people that are going to always push for more, always ask why and always dream to be bigger and dare to be bigger. And I think that John Anderson is one of those people. And I feel like the whole Christ imagery and all that stuff that he uses, you know, for his image and everything, I think it's fascinating. Um, I hate to say this, but I definitely feel like he's got a very high opinion of himself, but not in like a narcissistic way, I think, but it's, he can back it up too. So he definitely is a talented dude. And I think he just really, really achieved something special here. And I literally cannot wait for the sequel if there is one. Um, I can't really give you a more detailed analysis because this was not really something to be analyzed. I think this is something just to experience and something uh, to, to soak in and uh, let it seep into your soul and just see where it takes you sort of thing. And, um, I definitely went places far back and far forward in my life and my dreams. And uh, it definitely aligned some of my chakras, as they say, because my mind was working on a different level at that point. And the instrumentation, like, you know, the, he used so many different instruments. Like I heard mandolins, flutes, drum, like all kinds of different stuff, man. And like, it's just mind boggling how much work probably went into this. And um, that's probably why the sequel is taken so long because he's probably a perfectionist and he probably has so many ideas he doesn't even know what to do with all of them so i'm excited to hear the sequel whenever it comes out i will definitely listen to it and thank you again bob for sending me this wonderful album i really appreciate you i hope you guys enjoyed this this is our little halloween special last year i think we did an opeth album and it's crazy to think how fucking far this channel has come since our last halloween special it's been a whole year, obviously, and uh, it's not lost on me that like everything that happens here is because of you guys, and it wouldn't I wouldn't have this channel or have any of this without your support, and um, I really appreciate it. I know I say it all the time, but I really mean it. I really, really do from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys are definitely keeping uh, me afloat in many a ways, um, not just in the monetary sense or anything like that. Uh, an emotional and a spiritual sense. Uh, I think this channel has awakened things in me that uh, I didn't think I had. And it's all because of this music and it's all because of you guys. And I just wanted to say thank you. Here's to another year. And uh, hopefully 
by the next Halloween special, we will have the son of Elias to listen to. Wouldn't that be something? Thank you for watching, guys. We have a Patreon. Right, cha. Go check it out. We've got 25 members. Get one free request a month. Access to all the blocked videos. And you can get to chat with me whenever you'd like. That's it. It's pretty cool, though. Go check it out. <laughs> and if that's not your thing, we have a PayPal right there for tips, donations, requests. If you want to throw your, you know, throw your boy a couple dollars for doing a good job for this long ass album reaction. I'm just kidding, but Hey, it would help. Uh, that's the way to do it. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry to cut it too short. Like I said, my computer can't handle anything longer than a certain amount of time. So we're cutting it short anyway now. So <laughs> bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo.